Our world is rife with mysteries and enigmas. Through the years, a myriad of wondrous events have occurred and thousands of amazing discoveries have been made. We can never be quite sure what lies beyond the horizon. Between archaeological wonders and the rapid development of technology, there is an unbound potential for our future. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent discoveries. One of the oldest burial sites in the Amazon Researchers believe they have stumbled across what may be the oldest burial site yet discovered in the southwest Amazonia, tucked away within northern Bolivia in the Llanos de Moxos region of the Amazon rainforest. This site contains graves that are estimated to be a minimum of 6,000 years old and presumed to be older. Buried here are five humans, as well as the shells of snails and the bones of fish and various mammals. This discovery is more important, as they believe this site was created 6,000 years ago, which entirely changes the timeline of when we believed people had begun to build settlements within the Amazon. The site was found on the forest islands, situated in Ia del Tosoro, La Chacra and San Pablo. An excavation and further study led many researchers to believe that these so-called forest islands provided a safe asylum and a point of refuge to ancient Amazonians fleeing the flooded Llanos de Moxos savanna throughout the rainy season, making these islands seasonal settlements. This discovery has also given insights into the sophistication of these societies, as burials of this sort along with the traces of food remains and of fires having burned, have implications of a settled society protecting their territories. Before this discovery, we had been operating under the assumption that the people living in this region were hunter-gatherers, though this updated perspective suggests a series of more complex societies instead. This means our timeline could have been 10,000 years out, meaning these groups and societies were established and complex far earlier than we originally thought. Lead author of the study, Jose M. Caprier, assistant professor at Penn State University, explained that these burials tells us that the indigenous groups within the Amazon had learned to adapt and transform the landscape in beneficial and suitable ways. These signify far more advanced living standards than we had predicted were possible at this time. Furthermore, the discarding of waste, be it food or what was once living, and then returning to stay in the area as a seasonal settlement, meant that the soil composition had been changed slightly, becoming more fertile. This allowed for thicker growth of vegetation and higher land elevation. Jose M. Caprier elaborates, explaining that when their preferred food sources and supplies ran low, the indigenous populations were able to domesticate plants, including peanuts and sweet potatoes. This excelling knowledge meant that only mere generations later, societies capable of establishing roads were prevalent. Caprier concludes his research, explaining that the study of these landscapes helps us to see the interaction between humans and these biomes, and gives us an insight into the cultural and biological diversity that is rife within them. Microplastics found for the first time in Antarctic ice Although some might believe that the glaciers of the Antarctic are relatively untouched by humans, this is becoming further and further from the truth. Not only are the glaciers and ice sheets melting and diminishing at a rapid rate, but scientists have recently discovered tiny pieces of plastic called microplastics in deep ice. The unhappy discovery made by a United States-led team of scientists was described as a punch in the gut, as it details how truly deep and pervasive the pollution of the Earth has become, when even the most remote waters on the planet are impacted. As with pollution and contaminants anywhere, the ecosystems and underwater life will undoubtedly be negatively impacted by the presence of microplastics, and this impact might even be felt by those of us incredibly distant from the freezing tundra of the Antarctic. The discovery of the contamination was made by a team of researchers who described the feeling of finding evidence of human damage in such a remote location by saying, we had spent weeks looking out at what looks so much like pristine white sea ice floating out on the ocean. 
when we looked at it up close and we see that it's all very, very visibly contaminated when you look at it with the right tools that felt a little bit like a punch in the gut. The research team took 18 samples from various depths up to 2 metres at several locations, and in some instances the plastic contamination wasn't microscopic at all. It was visible throughout the samples. The samples appeared to be at least a year old, and it was theorised that it was blown from far off oceans, where plastic pollution is much more widespread and carried through the atmosphere until it was dumped onto the Antarctic during snowfalls. If this hypothesis is correct, the spread of microplastics is not limited to just the locations where polluted ocean waters can reach, but it can in fact turn up anywhere on the Earth. The fact that such small pieces of plastic can be transported through the air without notice raises the question of whether or not we are inhaling microplastics as well, and the effect that this will have on humans as well as plants, animals and sea life. The effects that humans have had on the planet is evident even in the farthest reaches of Earth. But as we learn and discover more and more about that frozen expanse, we are also continuously uncovering beautiful and amazing things about that seemingly impenetrable landscape. The Underwater Stonehenge Found Underneath Lake Michigan When most people think of Stonehenge, the familiar prehistoric monument of a ring of standing stones in Wiltshire, England comes to mind. These massive stones have been standing on the surface since 3000 BC, but another recent discovery uncovers a similar structure deep below underwater and far away from England. In 2007, while on the search for shipwrecks, a group of Northwestern Michigan College archaeologists came across something big. 12 metres down, they found a set of aligned stones that must have been placed into formation by ancient humans before water covered the area more than 10,000 years ago. They were looking at America's Stonehenge. It was found in the depths of Lake Michigan, which is the largest freshwater lake in the United States. When Mark Holly, professor of underwater archaeology, came across the site, he stated he couldn't believe what he saw. It was the position of the stones that led researchers to believe it was unlikely that the formation was naturally occurring. The stones were all the same distance across, and were like the ones found in France, England, and the Nabta Playa. To get a closer look, a diving expedition was put together to observe the stones. An underwater photographer was able to capture a fascinating find of a mastodon depiction carved upon a stone. Mastodons were ancient animals that resembled modern elephants and were forest-dwelling creatures that lived in herds and grazed across the land. They disappeared from North America when a mass extinction occurred around 8000 BC, done in part by hunter overexploitation. The carving on the stone suggests that the American Stonehenge had to have been arranged before the mastodons went extinct over 10,000 years ago. Researchers believe that the material consists of a very hard rock called granite. The lines and marks of the mastodon were precisely carved, which raised the question of how ancient humans found materials strong enough to etch onto granite. Among these speculations, there was further evidence that the structure was man-made. Humans were believed to have been present as early as 25,000 years ago, when the lake was once dry land. Around the area when the first Europeans arrived in the 17th century, they came across thousands of prehistoric mounds. Sacred stones, statues and stone idols have also been sighted in several places, many weighing over 100 kilograms. To this day, the exact coordinates of America's Stonehenge is kept a secret by the local Indian tribes who want to keep an influx of tourists away from their land. There is only one question that remains. How could humans have created such intricate structures over 10,000 years ago? The answer to this unexplained mystery may very well change history as we know it. <laughs>